As we saw in the last video, live booleans are a great way for visualizing the addition, subtraction, and overlap of various objects. But it's just a viewport effect so far. So in this video, I'll show you how to lock in those boolean shapes. Okay, so you can see uh, I have added a couple of more objects uh, in this uh, demo head. Okay, so you can find this file uh, and you can download it, and the, the link is given in the description below. So uh, you can have this ZBrush project file, so you can just open it up and you can work with this one. So basically what you see over here is like we have these uh, cylinders, uh, terminal shape slicing around the head and then we have this uh, part over here. Now uh, if we click uh, over here and see they are quite of a different uh, number of uh, sub objects this one i want to subtract it from the head and this one i want to uh, you know combine it with this one so uh, what is this this is the top and bottom of it and this one is the middle part okay. now issue over here is that if i will start okay subtracting these two suppose if i will turn on the live boolean here okay if i go here and move this one on the top okay and subtract this one you can see nicely it is subtracting okay and what i will do if i want to subtract this one for below so you can see that it is affecting this one as well so now the problem is that uh suppose the problem will are uh, come more uh, of a big uh, like it will become more of a big problem if i will duplicate this one and scale this one up move it here let me turn on this one because when you duplicate anything the original one hides so, okay now for example i want to uh, subtract this area of the head as well so for that i have to create this one okay now if i will go back here in the live boolean and start to doing these okay subtraction i have did it here if i will do subtraction here as well okay and here I will do some other parts so you can see it is uh, affecting my work over here okay I'm not getting actually the result I'm looking for because they all are counted as a one object here let me go back to make them all combined here okay so it's, it's affecting the whole thing here which actually I really don't want okay and that's one uh you know problem when you do the live boolean here so let me delete this one for now i don't know if you need this one so how we can avoid this this can be avoided if we can uh you know uh, break up all these uh into different groups so these different boolean operations can be broken up into different groups and this will avoid the problem that we were facing before now how we can do that uh you will notice that there is a little arrow over here pointing down okay so if we click on here it will switch to a start group so if i will click here it will make a start group here okay similarly same thing i will do with this cylinder and it will show me how many objects it have Two objects one two cylinder also have one and two now they have become separate group this group will work on its own boolean operation and this group will work on its own boolean operation okay so they will not overlap just like it was happening before and because they uh, these two group are now individual group and they will not affect each other so this is uh, a really nice way to avoid the problem which we were facing before so let's do one thing here let's do what we were doing before let me do the subtraction here for the head okay and i think i have i have pressed the wrong button this is the subtraction okay so we will do the subtraction here and then we will do the union for this one which is already there 
Now, as we are ready, what we can do here is that we can start combining this or, you know, sorry, we will start converting this into a mesh. Okay, because right now this Boolean is just a preview. So I want to convert this Boolean into a mesh. So to do that, you have to go to the Boolean operation over here. Okay, now there's one thing over here which is known as the allows dynamic subdivision over here. Now, uh, let's see what is this. So let me uh, turn this on for now and what this does is it it takes into account any dynamic subdivision that is on a model now i know we haven't talked about the uh, dynamic subdivision yet and i'm going to get deep into that uh, later on this course but just basically what it is it's a way of previewing the smoothness of an object just like you're previewing the live boolean right now so the dynamic uh, smoothness is just the preview of how your subdivision will look like so if i will turn it on so if there is any dynamic subdivision over here it will take that dynamic subdivision into account for example let's go to this one okay the cylinder both of them and i will turn on the dynamic subdivision for both of these now the shortcut for the dynamic subdivision is d d for dynamic on your keyboard okay so if I will press D on my keyboard here, okay, it will say currently this mesh has zero subdivision levels. Would you like to auto activate dynamic subdivision instead? So I can say yes, no, or always yes, but at this stage I will say yes. And you will notice that there is a dynamic subdivision on it. Okay, if I will go to the, the geometry, you can see it's not subdivided. Don't worry about this sentence. We will come back to this in, in our next classes, but just showing you. There is no subdivision on it so it's just the preview of it and if i will go back here okay on this uh top ones and if i press d over here and press yes so it's doing the same thing here but uh, uh the size has become smaller because of that subdivision thing so uh, let me do one thing let me just increase the height of it a bit and move it down and i'll go back to my drawing mode okay now oops it is i think it's too huge for it right now so let me move it a bit more down yep now it's fine okay so now if i will go back here i can turn this on so what it will do as i said before the subdivision which i applied over here okay uh if i will turn this on you can see that still the there is not sub there is no subdivision over here it's just showing the regular uh frame the, like a uh, wireframe here that means there is no subdivision it's just showing us the subdivision so if i will uh so oh, why it's not running off okay now if i will turn this on okay let me do one thing let's turn off this okay now if i will turn this on the subdivision or like uh, allow dynamic subdivision over here and if i will press my um, make boolean mesh what it will do it will check all my groups it will take this group okay and then it will make it as a boolean mesh and this one as a boolean mesh because right now they are not boolean mesh they are not any kind of mesh they are just preview of the boolean so i'll just click it down here now what it will do is this is doing the union then it will do the re, uh, remeshing. Right now, it is doing the remeshing here. Now, the remeshing is done. Okay, so if I will go back here, and you will see there is a new tool over here that says U Mesh Demo Head. Okay, so uh, Boolean result is always going to start with the U Mesh or Unified Mesh. So this indicates that it's a union mesh or like it's a, it's a Boolean mesh basically. If I will click over here, okay, and you will notice that I have here two objects that are now the mesh. So if I will turn on my Shift F, and you can see that each cut is has become my. Uh, I just turned this on. If you're uh, wondering what I did, 
So you can see that each one of this cut is now acting like a different polygroup. Don't worry of the polygroup, we will uh, like go into detail later on. And if I will uh, go to this object and press Shift F over here, okay, and you can see that it also shows me that they are uh, the like that there is a life fill over here. But if I will turn off this life boolean here because I don't want that, you can still see now the effect is there because they are not uh of like you know uh like it's not a preview anymore it's basically the whole uh live uh, boolean and you can use this uh you can import export whatever you want to do with this one okay so i hope uh you have now understood about the process of converting a live boolean uh and converting into a boolean mesh so this is how it works and if you have liked this video click on the like button and if you have any question you can give me in the comment section and uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it click on the bell icon for more notification because i will be uploading a lot of work uh in my next lessons like a lot of tutorials a lot of lessons full courses usually full courses if you will go online to check they are uh, you know that comes with extortionate price, especially the full courses, but I'm giving you everything for free. So please support me. So it will motivate me to create more and more content. We'll meet in the next class. Till then, take care, everyone.